so a lot of people fry their fries. Um, I like baking them. And if you know anything about frying, they use a cheap cooking oil, such as rapeseed oil or what, you know, a lot of people know it as canola oil. So what you're going to want to do is just use some extra virgin olive oil you can get from Kroger. Um, peel these uh, sweet potato and just cut them up. You know, I used to use um, a slicer that, you know, basically cuts it up all individually at once into fries. Um, I stopped using that, you know, after I, you know, bruised up my knuckles. It just wasn't worth it. Too much effort to put in where you can just cut them individually very simply. Um, and then afterwards, what I like doing, again, is using extra virgin olive oil, mixing it up. Then using a standard ground cinnamon like so. Cinnamon has been shown to actually reverse uh, prevent things like diabetes, um, lower your blood sugar, and then basically, you know, put them in the pan, bake them in the oven, and they come out really nice um, and a little crispy on the side, a little bit. You don't want them burnt. That way you get, you know, get a little bit of crunch, um, but you also don't want them too soft. So I like going on uh, about 385 for about 40 minutes um, in a baked oven. And it, it also matters what tray you put it on. Like, that's a little too low. So I put it up basically on the third level and then put the baking pan in there. And honestly, this is how I eat, you know, vegetable next to my steak, a meat. You're going to always want to eat a vegetable, some type of vegetable next to your steak or meat because the enzymes within these vegetables help break down the meat. Um, I think they're also prebiotics for the good bacteria in your gut. All this stuff matters. What oil you use, how you cook them, um, instead of frying them but actually baking them, it all matters and prevents diseases such as diabetes, and eat, especially with spices you use as well too. I mean, it just, it amazes me. People don't realize these things. I mean, for the most part, the common narrative I hear is I don't have time to cook up my own meals. I mean, I could do this within 15 to 20 minutes, cut it up, you know, put the oil on it, put some cinnamon, and then stick it up. And sure, it's going to take about 40 minutes in the oven to cook, but I'm telling your arteries are going to thank you for it in the long run. You know, again, you're not using something, a cheap oil such as canola oil, or you're not actually frying it in the oil and it's actually being baked, with his, which is a lot healthier. So, I mean, this is a very healthy way to cook and eat fries. And another thing saying about regular potatoes, I got some uh, chips right here. The thing about potatoes is, regular potatoes is there a nightshade? If you look up the different category of um, potatoes, um, they're a vegetable, yes, but regular potatoes are a nightshade and they can cause inflammation. You know, things like tomatoes, regular potatoes have this um, chemical substance within them that um, basically prevents things like bugs from eating them, um, fungi, bacteria. And that's why they're more classified. You know, it's a self-defense mechanism as a nightshade. The thing about sweet, sweet potatoes is they do not cause inflammation like standard potatoes and tomatoes do. So you kind of want to honestly just limit those things. You know, I still use, you know, a lot of ketchup at times. But I still think, like, there are healthier vegetables out there. People don't realize one's categorized as a nightshade. The other one not and causes less inflammation. Less joint pain less arthritis and these things can be really important if you for one heavy weight just like me throw pounders like for musky fishing this is really like one of the healthiest vegetables you can cook with your steak um it really is man and i highly recommend buying them and just making your own sweet potato fries and it's not like that's the only vegetable i use um i do like asparagus sometimes with my steak um, I do like, uh, I'll go to Meyer 
and buy like a, basically a bag of these true goodness organic mixed vegetables and I do like what's it uh, Uh, Brussels sprouts with they're just loaded with vitamin C super healthy some things I buy organic some things I just buy standard um, but yeah I mean Brussels sprouts are awesome um, but you just want to mix it up that way you know get some green greens some different color vegetables um, you know just mix it up because certain vegetables are high in different vitamins while others are in high and you know other different vitamins it just mix it up to the different colors and you'll definitely be on the safe side it just i mean it's great that there's people um thinking that something like um the carnivore diet is the way to go way to go the one thing i found about about that diet you have to get in some form of carbohydrates to keep you know you're basically your system flowing or you're going to basically get bound up and um, constipated. You got to have some form of carbohydrates, but there's a big difference between healthy carbohydrates such as sweet potatoes and non-healthy carbohydrates such as you know, fried standard potato fries and fried potato chips like you have here. And those aren't mine. But, you know, occasionally I do much on things, uh, things in moderation, but for the most part, I do tend to always make my own food. And it just, even when it comes to tacos, um, I'm using my own, or I'm making my own food now. You know, I stopped at Crazy Gringos um, off Harper and Sangue Shores, and I swear to God, I ordered a beef burrito. And what I got was basically a burrito loaded with all carbohydrates. It was loaded with rice. Uh, corn and I think a few other like something vegetables in there and it was just basically loaded with that stuff filled it looked plump and huge and all that but it was loaded with that stuff and very little meat um you know if you watch Rogan a lot meat is one is still one of the most nutrition nutritious uh sources of food and I'm like I'm mainly getting all carbohydrates and not enough meat. I mean, there's very little meat in there. And I also ordered up some, like, chicken, hard shell chicken tacos. And they're, like, just shavings of the chicken. And I'm like, that was the one time, you know, I was tired from work, worked some overtime, just wanted to try it out, had decent reviews, but I was just not impressed. And it's just like these, some of these restaurants are fooling you. You know, you're thinking you're getting, like, a food filled with a lot of nutritious um, stuff in it. You think it's somewhat healthy, but then you don't realize how much carbohydrates and then how much less of meat you're actually getting in it. And I specifically ordered chicken hard shell tacos and beef soft burritos. And what I got was just like mainly carbohydrates. And if you know anything about the study Joe Rogan always talks about is the sugar industry bought out a study, paid off scientists to put the blame on fat and meat instead of sugars and carbs. So there's a lot of sinister shit going on right now within our country. Um, it's going to take some time while to reverse these things, make people realize. Um, but when I hear something like the CDC says, like, by 2050, one in three Americans are going to be diabetic, um, that's a fucking serious issue. So, and that's where it's just like, yeah, you know, I talk about little about being healthy on my channel, you, you know, Eternal Angler. It's a little bit about longevity. Well, lately I've just been trying to talk to people I just come across naturally in the workforce, even, you know, more even on my YouTube channel. It's just kind of like, let them be aware of these things. And I think, like I said, these companies, these restaurants, especially these uh, fast food franchises, they have figured out a way to trick you into thinking, well, you're getting a lot of food in this product here, but you're not actually getting a healthy source of food. You're getting a lot of carbs and carbs are known to, you know, eventually lead to things like health diseases such as diabetes. You know, you think this would be easy for people to realize, but again, when studies are getting corrupted, a lot of propaganda getting put out, well, guess what? 
people don't realize things, these things, and people are still strong, struggling with the diets. I saw on recently on CBS News the other day, um, a lady that basically got cancer and she said, well, you know, how did I get cancer when I'm not eating beef? You know, people just still are being fooled by that study. It just like if you look up what feeds cancer, it ain't beef. It's actually carbs and sugars. And even, you know, at one point, um, you know, it also feeds bacteria, uh, uh, you know, sugars and uh, uh, carbohydrates. So a lot of things. It just it amazes me. Um, but this is, you know, this is part of the system, I think. We need to reverse. We need to help people realize. Um, you know, we're. I remember when, basically, 10, 15 years ago, we were, we were being told, like, eggs are bad in the morning. Eggs are super bad. And especially eating, you know, the yolks. But come to find out, they're saying it's one of the healthiest, nutritious things to eat in the morning. But you see what they've supplemented and try to get us to buy more is things like cereal. And if you ever watched that Kellogg's movie with, what's that dude's name, Ferris Bueller? The guy was a nutcase. The guy was a psychopath. He would try to get, this 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 uh, guy that owned the Kellogg's company would try to get people to his, like, supposedly his health facility to help them be healthier, um, you know, uh, be leaner and all this stuff. But he ended up killing them. It just, like... You know, you think about these things and you realize how much propaganda is out there to eat, you know, things like cereal in the morning. Um, you know, there's obviously been some sort of a, um, like I said, corruption in a study to influence us to eat these other processed things. When something such as eggs that, you know, our, our grandparents, our great grandparents have been eating forever, well, you know, you start to realize things that things aren't cracked up what to be this country and you got to start making some ch changes in your diet and not believing everything you hear on the tv because there's a lot of propaganda out there but anyways we're going to get with it here to make some sweet potato fries and i got a bunch of sweet potato fries cut up already but i'll show you real quick how i do it um i'll basically just slice it down the middle like so just like that just sliced it down the middle and slice the half. And slice that part. I mean, once you get a really long wedge, you want to slice that in two. I mean, most of these we're gonna. That was a bad cut right there. But you see how it's basically a long wedge. We'll just um. Slice that in too. Honestly, you don't even want a really sharp knife. A ridge knife is good. That way you don't cut yourself, man. You don't really need a sharp knife. You just cut that like that. And you got little pieces of fries. That one's pretty bad. But this is how they should look like. And if you want, these are still good. You can leave some wedges in there. Um, especially if they're thin. But it works, man. Great way to eat. Healthy, non-nightshade fries. I mean, it's, it's amazing me people don't realize what vegetables, what category they fit in. Like nightshades, non-nightshades. But, you know, as you grow older, you start to study these things and you realize these things. Because you want to, you know, most of us want to try to live a long, healthy life. Some people, you know, I mean, shit, I've been in sports some people would rather take the easy shortcut take something like steroids even if it's going to shorten their lifespan but it's going to make them possibly a millionaire in pro sports i mean to me it's just not worth it but other people so but you start to learn things as you grow older and try to be healthier so it is what it is here we go we got some sweet potato fries got the oven going it's already at 38 385 Pour a little, uh, I think Kroger is extra virgin olive oil. I've tried, you want to try different, different brands, but I think theirs is the tastiest for whatever reason, whatever source they get it to, you know, get it from. But I really like their olive oil. Each one tastes differently. And then, you know, some people will get light extra virgin olive oil, 
Uh, here's an organic version. I think this is authentic one from Italy or something. So they all actually have a different taste to them. You want to just see which one you like the most. This is a pretty cheap version price-wise, but it's still premium and pretty healthy. Um, and honestly, olive oil is one of those things where you can use it pretty liberally. I don't think it affects your health. You got to remember, you know, just like, oh, we got a lot of oil over here. That's a little too much. You know, people are eating fries and they're dipping it completely in the canola. If you go a little overboard, that's all right, man. So take your cinnamon. You can use other seasoning, paprika. I do not do sugar. Some people will add sugar. Sweet potatoes already have, I'm sure, like glucose in them. They are sweetened or any. I don't know why you would want to do that. Again, we're trying to prevent things like diabetes. We're trying to be healthy. But people find a way to corrupt a food, trying to ruin a food. But it once you cook this and bake it for 40 minutes in 385, it comes out sweet as this. Especially if you're using a really good olive oil, like I said, that brings out the flavor. I don't know, man. Yeah, but some people have to add sugar to everything. Not recommended. I do not do it. It still comes out. But I'm telling you, this is an awesome food to add right next to your steak, which I'm probably about to do. I'm going to cook a, a ribeye steak right, uh, up next. So, All right, so just a heads up. You know, some people will start cooking their meat, whether it's a steak, burger, whatever, um, you know, right as soon as you put the fries in, you want to probably do it about halfway. Um, that way you don't cook the meat done before the fries get done and you're eating the meat, then eating the fries afterwards. You're going to want to always eat meat with a vegetable or multiple vegetables. Again, so it complements one another and the enzymes help break down the meat. I think, you know, still eating them afterwards would be fine, but I'm just saying that, honestly... Eating vegetables also, I think, brings out the taste in the meat. You just always want to, you know, a whole platter of nice vegetables and a meat source. You know, they just complement together nicely. But anyways, you know, this is a slow stove. We'll crank it up to seven just to get this stuff going. But I mean, it's just standard ribeye. This one's got a lot of marble in it, a little, a lot of fat. But I mean, honestly... You know, it don't bother me. I like a little fat sometimes, a little marble at times. But um, mostly, I would say you want to get, you know, a leaner form of steak or ribeye. But I like this, man. And some people, you know, they'll marinate their steak um, the night before in uh, butter. Or, you know, you can even use olive oil. But honestly, that's one thing I do not have time for. And I just like, nah. I mean, you can still make time to do it, but I just, I don't do it much. If you learn how to season your steak properly and cook it with a nice sear, um, it'll be good, man. Um, but I just, honestly, I'm, I'm about health, so I tend to cook my steak in just extra virgin olive oil, and I do not marinate. Occasionally, occasionally, I'll do a zip sauce, um, but if you do a zip sauce, um... I like doing this Kroger butter that actually is made from olive oil and sea salt. So, healthier alternative, man. The Mediterranean diet is the way to go, man. It's just olive oil is a healthy oil to use. And you know a lot of these restaurants are probably not using it. They're using a cheaper source of oil because, again, the whole motive here is profit. But, you know, if you're like me and you're looking to get healthy and stay healthy, live a longer life so you can enjoy the great outdoors, hunting and fish, you're going to want to use a healthier oil and cook your own food, man. I highly recommend it, man. That's that bad boy right there. That's how I like it done. A lot of sear. Um, gives a little more texture and taste to it, I think, when you do it. But it's still... I mind, I like mine like medium done, sometimes even medium well. Um, you kind of want to cook it, get rid of most of the parasites and bacteria, whatever else is in there, to be honest with you. Hey, it was, someone did a video once where they 
they poured on it. What was it? Something on like pork chop. And there's like a lot of parasites on pork chop. And you see these like fucking worms come out of it. Seriously, there. I mean, any type of meat that's frozen and not cooked, believe it or not, it has parasites in it. So you want to cook it some again. I like my meat. It, you know, some people like it bloody, but I like mine medium or medium well done. Just about you know, medium well. Sometimes you can hear these babies sizzling in here they're trying to talk to you but they're they're looking good so far man they're looking pretty good um you know olive oil burns easier um at a lower temp compared to like something like canola because i guess that's why they use it it's a good frying oil but you got to be careful using olive oil at a higher temp temperature even baking so i think 385 is good and if you do it Somewhere medium in the oven, not low to the burners, you're not gonna burn them. So again, it's it's part of the balance that you gotta find. Um, so, all right, so when I season my steak, I like using a standard garlic powder. But when I'm using like salt, I like using a really good um, fine Mediterranean uh, sea salt. You get this at uh, Kroger, but you also want to occasionally mix it up with a good iodized salt. Um, iodine actually helps energize your thyroid, which basically energizes your whole body. And I don't know if you know this or not, Brazilian nuts are also good to eat once in a while. Um, but you got to be careful because they're really high in selenium. But both selenium and iodized or iodine gives you energy. And if you're having lack of energy at work or anything, um, you definitely want to mix it up with those things. So, um, and I know it's over at work, they, when they have salt, it says it's iodized. So I definitely know why they're using that. <laughs> All right, we're at zero seconds here. We're going to turn it off. Still cooking. Um, let's see how they turned out. Like I said, once you find the balance in your oven, you know, each oven is kind of different too. You want to find what temperature to cook it at. But I think mine telling you what I cook it gives you some type of, you know, basically estimate where you could cook your sweet potato fries at. But this is what they look should look like. Um, this one's a little burnt and crispy, but that's because I made them that one a little too small and thin. But the rest of them are just basically perfect, man. Around the edges, they might be a little seared to them, a little, you could say, caramelization. Because I swear to God, when you start popping these things, they almost taste like caramel. That's why it amazes me. Some people, I think if they got, some people just have sweet tooth and they expect to taste a little sweeter taste. But I, once you get used to just cooking them right, bringing out um, the natural sugars of sweet potatoes, what is it, you know, glucose, whatever it's in them. I think fructose is uh, fruit. I mean, it just, they can be awesome. I swear to God, it's like the perfect food. Uh, with the, your sweet potato and it or I, with your uh, steak and it just com they both complement each other nicely man they really do I should have took a photo you know I got two plates here but I take a shot of what they look like next to one another and like I said cinnamon lowers your blood sugar especially if you've got diabetes or even prevents diabetes if you're worried about but it is a healthy meal just doing this right here i swear to god but that's basically what it looks like yummy can't wait to eat it